Did you wake up this morning wanting to do some planning then realize you don't want to deal with the after mess? Do you have several plants that need repotting but just don't have the space for this project? If you answered yes to these questions, great news for you because you are normal. Keep watching because I will be sharing with you my best practices in our backyard that keep me fast and organized whenever I'm replanting or repotting. I'm able to do other things instead of just spending most of my time in our backyard doing all these tasks. I will also be sharing with you my favorite pots and why. and welcome back the first thing that I do is just gather the tools that I will only need for this specific project then I will line up my empty pots along with the succulents that need repotting we will repot a total of six and we'll only need very minimal space for this I already pre-mixed our soil I added pumice and perlite to all my purple soil mix they lighted the soil allow more air around the roots of plants and help retain water and moisture which is crucial to our succulents then I add fertilizer to make our succulents grow faster because we need to supply the elements that the plants need in readily available forms. Our choice of pot is very important. Clay pots are my favorite and with many reasons. Aside from the obvious that clay pots are usually affordable that suits anyone's budget, clay pots also have a tendency to beautify with age as they absorb and weather the minerals from the soil. Another reason why I love growing my succulents in clay pots is because they provide a healthy environment for my succulents. The porosity of clay allows air and moisture to penetrate the sides of the pot. Plant roots require oxygen in the soil to function. Having too much water, especially for succulents, will damage the root system and the overall condition of the plant. As a thick, porous material, clay naturally delays the heat transfer between the external environment and the soil which then avoids sudden change of temperature. It makes me really happy every time I have to repot my succulents because it tells me one thing, I am doing everything right including my choice of pots. This one right here is a 5.5 inch pot and we will be transferring this beautiful aeonium to an 8 inch pot. I make sure I have a little container next to me for the little rocks that I put as my top dressing. Using a garden trowel, I will gently pull this crested purple rose aeonium from this 5.5 inch pot. Notice that I didn't make so much mess while pulling and this is because I have to use the exact same pot for the smaller succulent that we are going to repot. Then I will grab our 8 inch pot and fill with soil that we pre-mixed. One of the reasons why repotting is highly recommended and important is because it gives you the opportunity to reset your soil. And in my case today, as you can see, these succulents outgrown their pots. Once my pot is half filled, I typically add another thin layer of fertilizer before the top. Then I'll continue adding some soil and plant our succulent. Another reason why pre-mixing my soil and putting it in a plastic container like this is what I always prefer. I can easily fill up my pot without making a mess. Just a little bit information about our crested purple rose aeonium. They are used to dry warm temperatures but don't worry, they can cope with freezing temperature but not for too long. So the best advice is if you live in a place with particularly harsh winters, bring the plant indoors during these periods and place them into containers. I love putting rocks on top of my potted plants because number one, it helps retain moisture and prevent too much evaporation. And number two, it helps prevent the soil from washing away when watering. We will repeat the exact same process for the remaining pots that we have.
I hope you enjoyed this video and will encourage you to spend more time in your backyard. If you love what you saw and you like this type of content, consider subscribing to my channel and while at it, hit that notification bell so you can be informed when my next video launches. Thank you again for watching and until next time.